All right, YouTube. This is a 2016 Nissan Sentra. And we're going to to this side right here. <clears throat> and these are the tools that will be needed to do it. I got uh, some chocks here, got two of them. I think that was nine bucks. Uh, got a set of uh, wire brushes. Um, got some cans of brake parts flu uh, cleaner. Uh, got a jack stand. I got another one. I, uh, Put on the other side but um you're gonna need a hammer this is the jack that came with the car i'm just gonna use that to jack it up and put that jack stand underneath it uh, i got some needle nose pliers uh anti-seize lubricant and we got to these are the actual parts these are the shoes um like i said i already did it comes with two uh oh, it's a set I already did the uh, other side, so I got those two left. Um, and then here's the rotor. Here's the part number. And uh, I wonder if it has a part number on the coated shoes. That right there, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Change out this. And that's all you need, is just those tools. All right, let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is chalk the front wheels. <clears throat> like so, because we're on kind of an incline here. And then uh, I'm going to loosen these nuts up first before I jack up the car, otherwise it's going to be hard to do that. Those are loose. Now to jack up the car. Too much stuff in the way here. Let's see where to put it. First of all, let's uh, get the jack set more. In the car, there should be some. I'll show you some tabs right there, and that's exactly where the jack's gonna go, just like that. All right, so I jacked this car up pretty good amount. You know, it's off the ground pretty good. Um, so I can get this jack stand in there underneath the axle pad. So let me get closer up in there and show you. 
I'm trying to put it. So I'm gonna put it in right here. And basically, I can't get it up any more than this than where it's gonna go. So, what I'm gonna do is. You know, and if I set it right here, like that, then, you know, it's the jack's facing like this on the down slope. And I'd rather have it facing this way. It's a two ton jack, or jack stand. So I'm going to put it underneath like that and have it come down. I'm going to put the jack down a little bit onto this jack. This is how I'm going to do it. Right, so the weight is about evenly distributed between this jack and that jack. So what I'm going to do now is take the tire off and then I'm going to set the tire underneath here behind this jack right here. Just for extra safety, you know. That way, you know, I mean nothing's going to happen but everything does, you know, it's going to fall on the tire and not me. So that's how I'm going to do that. All right, got the tower off. Here's the uh, brake drum. So what I'm gonna do next is, this thing is, uh, let's see if I can get this off. What you probably have to do is hit the thing right here. Just like that. Set that to the side. Some brake parts cleaner. First, I want to get all that dust out of there. Cleaning it up makes it a little bit easier to work with. So first thing we're gonna have to do, or what I am gonna do, is I'm gonna get my phone, take a picture of how it's supposed to go back. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I took the picture of it. Now, what I'm going to do first is, there's a spring right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and undo this spring. I'm going to need needle nose pliers to get these springs off. Whoa. There you go. Got that spring off. And the next part, get these clips off right here. There's two clips. Let me see if I can show you. Those clips right there. What you want to do is just press down right here and push downward. Let me show you. I'm going to need both hands to do it. So. Now these clips are what's holding these uh, brake pads in place. And uh, just to show you that the brake pads do need to be changed out, let me show you. I mean, those brake pads still have life in them, but the problem is the rotors 
are kind of going bad. And since I'm changed out the other side, because the other side was metal to metal, I figured why not? I just might as well do both sides at the same time, because I did the other side actually two days ago. And this car really hasn't been driven since then. But yeah, here's the difference in this one and that one. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and take off these clips. It's good to have a screwdriver so I can push this pin. I wouldn't push it against the wall. There you go. Just gonna have to work it and get it off. Same thing on the other one, other side. And move the clip downward, gets off the wall, and just push it down. There we go. All right, now it will come off just like this. And that piece comes off and that spring comes out just like that just like that okay one last step is you've got this little spring right here I'm gonna have to do this show you all what I'm talking about so basically in there and what you want to do is you don't know you can just push that spring out of that little socket okay I'm gonna have to put the camera over here so y'all can see it better up like a song bitch oh, there we go I got that off like that but in order to there you go that's what I need to do see it goes in that slot right here this little spring goes in that little let's see let's see it there's a little slot right there that the spring goes into with this cable and that's what held it in place all right so we're gonna go and get the new shoes uh, open those up put this one on first with the spring basically it goes like so and then we're gonna have to 
put this spring back in place like that. So what I'm going to do is grab it, needle nose, and push it down in there. And at the same time, being careful not to damage the wire. This is one of the hard parts of this job. Ow. <laughs> Pinch the hell on myself. You be careful, you don't want to do that. It's a tad frustrating. Because it's like so right there. And you just have to. There we go. Just get the last bit in with the screwdriver. All right, that is in. Let me show you. Supposed to be just like that. All right, so I got it all connected down there with this one. Right there, so it's gonna come up on this side. Let me show you. And there's this little piece right here. It goes in the back side. And this is what was connected to that clip. Let's go go through this middle one right here. And this goes up against there, like so, like that. And we're just gonna rest it like there for a minute. Get the other side. Basically, what I want to do is put the top these two pieces on first. Because if you don't, through trial and error, by doing the other side, it took me about an hour to figure out that you need to get this on and with this spring on first. So, what we're going to do is This goes in this little slot, right? So, on that side, this goes in that slot. And then, when you get the spring on, the spring attaches like so. Goes up in there, and up in there. If you don't do this step first, it is going to be a nightmare, trust me. And then basically, it's still kind of a nightmare to get this in there. So I'm gonna press this up against this side right here. So I kind of try to, well, I gotta get that piece in place. So you kind of want to set this one in place so you can get the other one on the other side in place. So basically you're going to have to pry against the spring and then push it up against that. This is probably the hardest part of this job lining all this crap up like so just the way it needs to go all 
I'm trying to get this clip on. On this side. I have to kind of push it and hold it in place though. That's the hard part. hard because the spring wants to keep moving it. it doesn't want to stay in place let's see if I can get this other side first Side in place. Uh, just gonna get this clip on this side. This one doesn't want to stay. You know, it doesn't want to stay like that. I think I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is put the bottom spring on first. days. back together now what I should have did before I assembled all that let's clean off this I'm gonna have to put some annexes on this plate So it's reassembled. Now we're probably going to have to adjust it, which is to do that, you do it with this little dial right here. So you probably have to get a screwdriver to push it in to adjust it. Cause <coughs> right now it was adjusted for, uh, you know, these pads, it's got thicker pads on. So the rotor may not go back on like, you know the way it's supposed to and uh, yeah I ran into that problem over there because like I said the the pads over there were metal to metal on the drum to the rotor 
So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it right now. Things hard to adjust. Put some anti-seize lubricant. Let's see if we can get that rotor back on. Let me adjust it. All right, I got it all adjusted. Basically, you had to just turn that. Um, now we're gonna put the rotor back on. This little thing, I just pretty much, you know, it's easier if, you know, you twist it before you put it back on instead of putting it back on. That's what I forgot to do because it has like threads, you know, you could have twisted it down a little bit. Um, that's what I ended up actually doing instead of messing with it with the screwdriver actually while it's uh, in place. I just took it back apart, twisted it down, put it back together, and now the rotor goes on just fine. I've been very careful not to touch the inside of the rotor even though the outside is very, very dirty already, but that doesn't matter as long as the inside is clean. I see grease. I even got some of the threads, damn it. I didn't want to do that. Get it all off. Let me get a rag. So, 
it spins it's a little stiff but uh, as soon as you uh brake you know drive it and brake it should adjust on its own and that's what how the other one was it was a little tough to spin at first but like i said they will as soon as you drive it it should break on its own all right so only thing left to do now is put the tire back on Surprisingly, this is actually a pretty hard part. The tire never likes to go on as easy as it came off. So I just kind of have to line it up. are short can't get my fingers in there cheap cars exactly what this is, is a cheap car it's a four-cylinder piece of crap it's got no acceleration and the day we bought it and we bought it brand new but it the engine just sounded horrible and it's constantly sound like it struggles to move this car but like I said we were in need of a cheap car at the time so we got a cheap car uh, where is that here we go I'm not going to tighten these all the way just want to Get to where the wheels flush. There we go. Now I'm going to put the car down and then tighten these suckers up. 